four days before the election defaced signs and symbols of hate appearing to target candidates in Post Falls. And yesterday in Coeur d'Alene, communist flags were placed next to campaign boards on Highway 95. A majority of the targeted candidates happen to be running for nonpartisan school board positions. In a region trying to escape racism of the past, some are disappointed by these actions. Rania Kaur is in Post Falls with what's happening there. At this abandoned home, there was a swastika in the middle of O of, in, of GOP. Now it's been painted over, but one expert told me she's never seen extremism quite this bad. Swastika's communist flags were supposed to be buried deep in North Idaho's past. Now they're resurfacing ahead of Election Day. This has been the most extreme we've ever seen a pre-election um, uh, at least since I've been here in North Idaho. I've been Jeanette Laster has been in the community for 15 years. For the past seven, she served as the executive director for the Human Rights Education Institute. I think that um, a lot of what we're seeing is mirrored behavior or very intentional um, intimidation in regards to the election. However, it's hard to tell because we have had some uptick of some extremist literature. While all the extreme symbolism was removed, she's asked Asking candidates to, to step up. If truly this is not coming from somebody's camp, then it would be very easy to say this is not us and this is not our community. And I'm not hearing that language. I'm hearing a lot of blame. Blame evident in some cases. Guy McAninch is running for Post Falls School Board. He took to Facebook after his sign was vandalized, saying he was, quote, extremely disappointed in the liberal leaning side of our community, continuing to say, quote, shouldn't we all be able to stand against hate and it should have no place in our community. Lindsay Swingrover is running for Coeur d'Alene School Board. When we reached out to her, she told us in a statement, it makes me sad to see the negativity and the division in the community. I was disappointed to see that someone trespassed on private property. I know our community is better than this. Post Falls Police Department is investigating the vandalism. Anyone with any information is asked to call their investigations line. That number can be found on your screen. Live from Post Falls tonight, I'm Rania Kaur for News Now.